Finland Saga Volume 20, Chapter 137, War in the Baltic 13. We got wolves on a cliff. Wolves have their own way of life. Now, Helen, half a year ago, the King of England and Denmark is concerned by wolves. I don't see a single deer. It's hard to even call this a hunt. Denmark, Scania, 1018 November. It must be those wolves over there. They're wreaking, ha they're wreaking havoc for the hunting fields here. Yes. I hear nearby farms have also been afflicted. According to the hunters, it's quite a large pack of wolves. A large pack? Hmm. Just think about it. If they're eating all the deer in the area, it would indeed seem their numbers are far too many. And they found a uh, what was that a sheep? It's just torn up. Oh, it's a sheep, sire. Or what's left of one after the wolves feasted on it? Did they steal the sheep from one of the nearby farms? Yes. Such a beastly sight is not fit for your majesty, uh, for your royal majesty. The wolves are quite cunning, you see, and they won't touch any secretly poisoned meat put out for them. They only eat sheep which they catch for themselves. Like, oh, oh. Considering your name, perhaps you can get through to these wolves. If so, when you tell them that the forest are now lacking prey, then they should pick up a hoe and live by farming. Oh, an excellent joke, sire. I, reg I regret to inform you that wolves will be wolves, no matter how much this world changes. As such, they will continue on killing the fill, or t they will continue on killing to fill their stomachs. There's no change in their way of life. Looks at him. Is that what you think? If so, I have no choice but to call their numbers from my forest. We kill them. By which method does your majesty have in mind? Have them hunt each other. The note of their eternal affairs. Kill the head, and the pack will surely splinter and turn on each other. Understood. I will see it at once. All the people are like just confused. Um, how did your majesty intend on killing the pack leader? Forget what I said. Uh, I was merely a, it was merely a gist. Okay. Half a year later, we're at Thorkill Nerf. Yeah, selling our ships. Well, I can't say I even care to understand what Canute is really planning. My principle is to do whatever I darn well please. But just what's up with that royal order you brought with you? I don't like it. Is there something you object to? Well, it's just, what kind of an order is intervene with in the Norns Vikings? Eternal strife. Does Canute want me to go wild? Is that it? Usually Canute's, Canute's the one telling me not to go wild. So what's with the 180 change? I would assume that the order was made to help assuage, or as, assuage your lust for war. Like, look at him. If you think about it, this whole trouble in the Baltic Seas started because the Norm Viking chief just went up and died all of a sudden, apparently from, uh, from some illness. Don't you find that strange? It seems to me that a lot of important figures have died of illness as of late. When you agree, Ulf, it's like, hmm, yes, I suppose you're right. It's like, still looking at him. So he grabs his throat, what? What does he do? Uh, grabs his knife, huh? Or, yeah. What's wrong, boss? Did he do something? Pay no mind. Get back to work. Doing, you gonna toss him off the ship? Is that unconcerned response and composed attitude of yours supposed to mean everything's going, going according to your little plan? Well, well, getting your neck snapped by me here, so be part of your plans. Well, say something. If not, let me say this. Don't get cocky and thinking you can, you can control me. I fight when I want to fight, and I'll die when I want to die. So I'm choking him. So report back to Canute that if, he wants, if, that if he wants to kill someone, he should draw his own darn sword and do it, do it himself. Like, lets him go, ooh. Hey, someone sent him back to yelling. Huh? Right now? We're gonna be late for the battle then. Ah. How long I waited for this? It's like, like celebrating. Finally, a battle, a battle! 
I don't know, I don't know, nor care about Canute's plan to build some paradise. I'll fight when I want to fight, and I'll die when I want to die. That's the way of a Viking warrior. Got uh, Thorfinn versus uh, the dude, the hunter guy. Forgot his name. Chapter 138 War in the Baltic 14. Like, dude's taking a spirit of, uh, through the mouth. Do you guys finger chopped off? Okay. They're fighting with, uh, are they sparring? Norn Vikings may base, Nornsburg. What gives? Some welcome back green lists. Wait. Why the sudden attack? We brought back the enemy boss's head, you know. Who's responsible? Step forward. Norm. Huh? Sir, it's too dangerous. Please stand back. You caused one heck of a mess, you guy. I what? Give me an explanation. Oh, treasure. Okay. These are the war funds that I sent. Uh, that I sent to Thorkill. He sent them all back. Okay. So basically, because I stole because I stole Thorkill's prey by killing Vaughn. Thorkill's really peeved right now. Peeved off right now. Well, you should have told me not to then. Uh, not to then. I killed Vaughn cause, uh, cause I thought you'd be totally cool with that. The job was to kill Thorfinn. Well, uh, what came of that? He gave me the slip. Sorry. Tee hee, like, thinking I was done. Oh. It was a, it was a, it was a mistake employing you. There's no other choice now, but, uh, but hope to appease Thorkill by handing you over. So you're gonna take him in custody. Who knows if he's, who knows if he'll be satisfied with that though. So Thor kills your enemy now. Then it's fine if I kill him, right? Ridiculous. There's not a single person in this world who can kill Thorkill. Oh, but there is. Me. Vine's head is proof of that. Is it really? He just, like, swooped in there. If Thorkill is killed, then King Canute will be forced to act. We would have both the kingdoms of Denmark and England as our enemies. Then I'll just king. Then I'll just kill King Canute too. Just leave all the strong dudes to me. Come on, dream big, Master Floki. Okay, wait. Did they lock him up? Hmm. I suspect this is this to happen. Uh, curse that spineless dice head. Does he have any desire to bestow a large kingdom to his darling uh, daughter? Darn. What I do now? Like, huh? Oh, hey. So they locked you up here too, huh? And our leaving. The one. My bad. Guess I miscalculated a bit. But hey, it's a good learning experience. Who are you exactly? Do you have some grudge against Thorfinn too? Huh? Not really. I'm just the kind of guy who takes simple pleasure in fighting strong dudes. Is something wrong with your head? How can you enjoy killing that much? Quid Gudrid. Gudrid, yeah. There's so much else you could do. Like, for example, tending sheep, buying and, sending, uh, buying and selling wares, or farming. There's so many things. Just living a normal life in general. A normal life. Is that fun? It is fun. You got a problem with that? Hmm. Guess we just have different senses, uh, sense of values, then. But you know, sister, try, and say, try saying that to the rest of the warriors here in Nordberg. You'll find that there's not a single person who'd agree that a normal life is enjoyable. We got Thorfinn in the cells. Okay. Chapter 139, War in the Baltic 15. Okay, we got bug eyes with the uh, baby and uh, mama bo mom, uh, mama dog singing up the uh, doing the laundry. Really now, you no. Know? Could you quit being such a little rebel, Carly? All this, all this poop in your pants and uh, and stuff in rocks or stuff in rocks, insects or what else you can grab into your mouth? Are you that? Are you that frustrated? With this world, that you have to take out your anger in those ways? Like, uh, huh? 
Don't you die me. Uh, can you speak proper Norse? Uh, I really, I really drew the short straw, didn't I? I, um, I would have been way better off being a hostage. Getting tortured, we'd be walking in sunshine compared, uh, compared to taking care of this baby. I've never respected mothers more. I wonder if Dad and, and others are doing all right. Come back already for, uh, for peace's sake, Thorfinn. Oh, pooped? Oh. Phew. Bark, bark, bark. I smell poop. Clean up. It's like, wah. My bum feels icky. And the wind just like blowing everything away. And they're on the boat? Okay. I've had it. What's it gonna do? I'm throwing this darn kid away. I've got, uh, I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna go find my dad. Oh, the, <laughs> the dog's trying to take him down. Ah! Kidding, kidding. I was just kidding. I won't throw him away. Like, that's not, oh, Thorfinn comes. What's wrong? What's the fuss about? It's never been late. Where's the others? The, the dog's still attacking him. Oh. He's like crying. Thorfinn, you took your darn sweet time. Huh? What? Stop crying. I said I'm sorry. Okay. Hostages. Carly's like sleeping. Yeah. This guy with spiked up hair named, uh, named Narm. Showed up with three other ma three other guys. He demanded you show up on the attacking side of the battle. Uh, that will be held at Nornsburg. And that you show up armed. Thorfinn's like, oh. The Thorfinn. I can't say I fully grasp the current situation, but those guys. Uh, they're either your enemies or friends from their, from their past, right? Like, nope. Not even saying anything. Can we get my dad and others back alive? That cocky guy, uh, that cocky brat is aiming for me and me alone. He simply wants to fight with me. It's like, there are guys like that. Guys who love fighting above all else. Then, as long as you fight him to his content, uh, he'll let my dad go free, right? It's like, perhaps. Uh, all right. It's like, wait, wait. Then that leaves us. Then that leaves us no choice. With no choice, other uh, other, wait. Then that leaves us with no other choice but to go to Nornberg. I'm counting you, Thorfinn. Give that spiky hair brat a good uh, butt kicking. All right, let's set sail at full speed then. Wait, what's Thorfinn doing? What's wrong? Help me out here, Thorfinn. You and I are the only ones here who know how to handle a ship. Looking glum. Um, look, I. I understand you might be scared, but this is your business, isn't it? Who else will deal with it if not you? If I go to Nuremberg, I have a strong feeling that I'll end up killing someone. Go with this to the cell. It's impossible to go to Nuremberg and rescue uh, NR, Leif, and Gertrude without killing anyone. Uh, this is one situation in which I can't find any other first option in order to save someone. I'll be forced to kill someone. But guys, like, what? What? It's like, what? 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 You? What? What the heck are you talking about? Get grip. It's like, I'm gonna, like, wave his hands. We're not talking about an abstract someone here. In order to save our friends, you're gonna kill bloodthirsty, uh, bloodthirsty, uh, guys obsessed with killing with, with glory. Who's more important to you? Is this is this something you need to think of think even twice about? Thorfinn's not saying anything. Thorfinn, now you listen here. To be perfectly honest, I joined this journey to make a whole lot of cash, but an even more important reason was uh, was to see to it that my dad Leif gets back home safely. Oh, Thorfinn's like sad. He was the one who brought me, who was the one who brought and freed me from slavery and gave me a whole new life. He's more important to me than anyone in the world. So please, please Thorfinn. Like, oh, he's like begging him. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll get leave and others back safely. Don't worry. I promise. Baby's still sleeping. Baby's still sleeping. Okay, chapter 140. War in the Baltic 16. Got Thorke like shouting. Ready. They're up on their high perch. Uh -huh. 
Got one of the uh, soldiers coming up. Commander Floki. We ascertained the size of the forces. Dr. Shord, uh, design, uh, design one river's mouth. Our Thor kills forces, which number 500 troops and 13 ships. Meanwhile, Vaughn's forces docked on the western coast, uh, numbered 500 troops and 16 ships. So he, he got a thousand. Our scouts report that they are currently setting up camp on land. I can see for myself. They go. They're right beneath our noses. Time the defenses. I, I won't allow any hasty attacks. There's still some time to negotiate. Uh, bring Norm out from his cell. So he's gonna have Norm fight Thorkill? 1.5 uh, km south of Normsburg. Camp the Thorkill's troops. We got chains? We finally found one. Oh, they got him chains. Uh, you need uh, you need a thick chain like the ones uh, like the one ships use for their anchors, right? It was pretty hard finding one with the right size. Sig, it's like looking over. It. It's quite rusty. Uh, what what was it used for? A uh, a link slave uh, to link slaves, I think. We found along with chokers and handcuffs. A slave chain. Could you bring me? In, could you bring me anything unluckier? This is basically a bad luck charm. Stop fussing. A chain's a chain. It was hard enough trying to pilfer one, you know. Huh. Whatever. I guess the beast is not having one at all. It's like, boom, he's like whipping it. Whew. The barrels, boom. Takes out the jug. It's like, just breaking all the plates and cups and jugs. Looks like Sig is back and they're clapping. Oh, pretty good. Thorkill sees this. That's some skill you've got, Mr. High Spirits. Uh, Jarl Thorkill, not bad. Uh, it's got much better reach than a spear. Stick by my side when uh, when we attack Nornberg. Nornberg, will you? I want to watch how you fight with that chain. Huh? Yes, sir. Of course. Good. Keep it up, sir. Uh, Sig, wait. I, I'm gonna be fighting this alongside soldier to soldier, with Thorkill the tall. Wouldn't it, wouldn't that? Okay, they're going to battle. Or yeah, Thorkell has double axes. He has the chains. Wouldn't that make me into a legend? To be told and retold for generations to come. So he wants to be. Okay, he's just imagining it. He doesn't think at all about the possibility he might die, does he? He's unexpectedly positive in that way. Sig, don't you think we've been losing sight of yourself recently? I mean. Wasn't a trip about getting Gurdjieff back? I know that without you telling me. But with my ship burned, we can't go on without getting in a new boat. If I accomplish some merit in battle, then I can perhaps get a ship as a reward. Maybe. But will things really go as smoothly as, as you say? Accomplishing a, not a notable deed in battles kind of harder said than done. Stop grumbling. There's no other way. But a battle is pretty dangerous. If you die, there won't be any ship, much less our lives. So they're going to go into? I never said you have to, uh, you'd have to fight with me. I'm the only one going to battle, so, uh, so your concern is uh, unnecessary. That's not, what we're, that's not what we're concerned about. We're concerned about you, Sig, as your friends. Friends? It's like, huh? You useless, cowardly lunkheads. Surely you surely meant lackeys, right? Is this father? I'm the son of the great half dawn. A great leader needs no friends. Mm. Those who stand by him are merely his subordinates or his enemies. Maybe that's true for your dad, but you've got but you've got a lot of friends. Don't pretend you don't realize it. In fact, what you're lacking are subordinates. <laughs> it's like huh? He's confused, huh? Where are you, boss? Oh, a ship from Nornberg is approaching. Probably a messenger. They're ready. Oh, whoa! You really are one big dude. Looking, uh, looking, looking from up close. Oh, what do you eat to get you so darn big, Thorkill? Who's this peeps week? So please, do not make us repeat ourselves over and over. This misunderstanding was caused by Norm or Norm. 
Here, take an unauthorized independent action. So list your blockade, uh, Narl Dorkil. Floki is prepared. Floki, Floki is preparing a banquet to receive you. He's like picking out the wax from his ear. Yeah, I get ya. So it was just a misunderstanding. Oh, so then you'll. When it comes to beer, Saxon beer is great. I personally love them. We'll prepare, we'll prepare some for the banquet then. Hold on, let me finish. There's nothing quite like enjoying some Saxon beer at, at night. So imagine you went without beer for the whole day to make it even better. But when you get back home, you realize you're completely out of beer. Oh, that's how he's feeling? And at that point, you'd be, not, you'd be denying to drink any booze. Or you'd, been, you'd be dying to drink any booze. Know what I mean? So can you now understand? Because that's how I feel right now. Going in. I don't give two cares about the reason or whether it was a misunderstanding. I just want to fight. Oh, it's like, all right, send him back. As for you, tell Floki that all negotiations are off. What? It's like, oh, he's being sent back. You regret this. You regret ever having made enemies of the Norn Vikings. She in battle. He's like laughing. Ha ha ha. Wait, wait. We have no use for Norm. Leave him here. Do with him as you wish. Ah, he's like, oh, so cold hearted. So, what should we do with him, boss? It's all tied up. Are you really the one who killed Vane? Or Vaughn? Lovely Vaughn. You don't look very strong to me. Judging people by the looks can be fatal, Narl. Yarl, Yarl. That geezer didn't even pose a challenge for me. Looking at you, Thorkill. You seem like another old man belonging to the same generation as him. If you were to face my spear, well, you'd be wiped down in a second, I bet. Oh, he's challenging him. Boom, he's just kicked in the face. Like, oh, like insolence. Thorkill's like stomping him. Stop trying to provoke our boss with such ridiculous BS. You think our boss would seriously fight a small fry like you? Die, you little trash. You're the one who'd be killed in a second. Kill him. Leaving punks like him alive will only. It's like, oh, Thorkill's like, okay, stop, stop. I'll respond to his provocation. It'll serve as a fun pre-game show while we're still sitting out camp. And tie him and give him a weapon. Ah, I knew it turned out like this. That's spring situation, tying him in a spear. Uh, Vaughn's not as weak as you say. Vaughn's not as weak. Yeah. Vaughn's not, wait, Vaughn's not as weak, you say? If you beat him, uh, it's you who must be strong. And I'll judge that strength personally. Like, it's gonna fight. I've been dreaming that, I've been dreaming the day that I'd, fi uh, that I'd fight you. You're the strongest war in the world, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Being the strongest isn't something that can be decided so easily. The world's a big place, Kato. By the way, is Thorfinn here with you? Thorfinn uh, Karsepni? What? Uh, what? Are you and Thorfinn acquaintances? Kind of. So, if he, uh, so is he here or not? No, but... Why is he coming here or something? Last time I saw him. He seemed to really hate war for some reason. Huh. That guy's running late. It's like, oh. Oh, starting battle. Whatever, let's get started. Hope you can give me a, hope you can give me even a little bit of fun, old man. Haha. -ha. Oh, I sure will try, kid. Okay, we got Thorfinn. Oh, guys. Enar, Leap, Gurdred. Please be safe. Chapter 145, uh, wait, 141, War in the Baltic, 17. Alone on the battlefield, this gentle boy struggles with moral dilemmas. Oh, that's, uh, uh Floki's grandson. Like, oh, Floki's, like, not happy with, he's, like, throwing, uh, his chalice or cup. Thorkill, you mindless, bloodthirsty fool. Thorkill's army is about to attack. He simply paid no heed to our to our offer. I believe that man wants nothing else but war itself. Very well. I feel sorry for King Canute. 
who work so hard for peace and, uh, and order, but I shall take you up on your challenge, Thorkill, and you shall finally find rest. When your corpse rots, be, when your corpse rots before the pectoral walls of Nuremberg, one, two, three, they're trying to like break out. Any progress on your front, Gerdred? Not a smidge. They're trying to take rocks in the wall. Heck, guys know the dungeons. Are, are they on the ground? Uh, the Goyers went away. Wait, so keep at it. The Goyers went away, uh, the guards. So keep at it. We're not getting another chance like this. We gotta escape right now. The orphan will come for us, I'm sure, but we must beat him to it. Yeah, I get it, but this won't move an inch. Uh, I'll try using my belt buckle, uh, my belt buckle as a lockpick. It's quite a stretch, though. By the way, how come the guards left us anyway? How should I know, girl? Ugh. Can't see what I'm doing. I had them sent away. Huh? Oh. The boy. Greetings. You're Thorfinn's comrades, right? The key. Yes, sir. They're gonna let him go? Huh? Uh, huh? I know him, too. I'm called Balder, and Thorfinn is my cousin. I. I beg your forgiveness. I'm... This is all my fault. Huh? You're his cousin? Please don these garments. They're going to change the uh, uniforms, the shoulder uniforms. These folks will take your place in, in the goals. In the goals? The stockades? No, no, in the prison? I should buy you some time. Your Linus escape? But why? Because I'm the cause of this war, and I need your help. Huh? The Goyer will be back soon. Let's hurry to my room for now. So they're still fighting. Is that blood on them or dirt? Probably blood. They being down. They're well matched. No way. Uh, this kind of tricky guy is a bad match for the commander. Darn it. Not bad at all, kid. You're getting my blood pumping, Norm. That was just awesome, Thorkill. They weren't kidding when they said you're the best. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, axe versus spear. It's like just going at it. Boom, 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 boom. Darn, too fast. They're like, they're both down, huh? Yo, oh, wobble. Get up, commander. Groin. The resemblance is uncanny. It won't surprise me. It won't surprise me if this boy turns out to be one of the commander's guys. It's a draw. You're tired. You darn, you are darn fools. Uh, Dafway. Dafway? What do you mean, tied? You play it? You're the idiot here. Uh, do you plan to spend every ounce of energy playing around, playing around like a kid? Just look at you. Any more of these games, and you'll both be too injured to stand up. What the heck are you even doing, Commander? If you're giving up on Norsberg, I can't very well stop you, but it's like, uh, right, you're right. Hmm? I too gotta keep my promise to Thorfinn. I got so into this that I totally forgot about it. Boy, earn your, you earned our respect. We'll let you go this time. Get lost. Thorkill, thank you. That was incredible. He's like smiling. Huh? Let's call it a draw. We gotta do this again. And next time, don't hold back on the killing blow. Man, that felt so good. The, uh, the blood-soaked uh, blade now turns towards Thorfinn. Let's keep going up to Thorfinn. Nothing's better in this world than a death match. Yeah, nothing's better in this world, or in this, in the whole wide world, than death match. Up here, one hundred forty-two. We're in the Baltic eighteen. Thorkill's forces and vain squads, two allied armies, lay siege to the uh, to the mighty fortress of the Norn Vikings. Here in Nornberg, war has begun. Starting. Uh, yeah. 
Methinks the weather is just fine right about here. What's the matter, old man? Don't tell me you uh, you you're gonna chicken out. Huh? Don't give me that stuff, kid. I'm reaching forty-five already. I'm not in. I'm not. In, I'm not in shape to go around uh, jostling with yeah, with the waiver snappers. Here gather the uh, the fiercest warriors of the northern seas. Just got myself a grandson too. This here job is just. Uh, it's just to afford him some candy, ya kin? Uh, then I'll move in with me, uh, with me son and his wife and his woman. Let him, uh, let him kids take care of me, old bones. Got something like shop in the air? What? You're a dirt old weasel pops or weasel pops. Here she comes. Shot ahead. Uh, don't you want to die in a glorious battle? Go to Valhalla? Well. You know, that's all good and fine, but huh? a new baby in the house is something else. If you survive as long as I did, you know. Boom, understand. It's like, taken out first. He's like, what? Old man. He's like, top of his horse is like just scattered. He's like, oh, being the drums charged. All you can support the better ram. He's like going around. Across the bridge, you mean like shot with the arrows? Yeah. Oh no, it's already begun. Please, let's hurry. I'll explain the details as we walk. Gertrude, it sucks. Wait. Oh, she's in like a maid outfit. I can't move my legs in these in this darn skirts. In these darn skirts, huh? Just make do, Leaf. And our darn arrows are flying over the place. Right now. There are two armies besieging Nornsburg. It's a war for the secession of the Norns of, of the Norn uh, leadership. Uh, these people only came to attack us because they think I'd be lacking as their commander, huh? You, the Norm leader, but you're still boy, Balder. Right. Well, it was grandfather's idea. I don't. I don't care about it, huh? Well then, what should we do? You, uh, you're going against your grandfather Floki to help us escape. I can't imagine you're doing this just out of pity, right? Please, I need you to. I beg you. Please, uh, please pass by Thorfinn somehow. Ask him to stop this war. Oh, he thinks Thorfinn's doing this, but you're like, what? Thorfinn is the best choice for the commander's seat. I myself can see that. I just need more time to convince grandfather. Two years, say. No, within one year. I'm sure I'll be able to pass him the seat peacefully. I'd like you to tell that to Thorfinn. And they're like, what? Keeping. Wait, what? War? Commander? You got it wrong. Thorfinn doesn't want any sort of commanding seat. And he never and he never ever start a war. Are you thinking are you thinking he's he, uh, he's the one leading those armies outside? Yeah, I kill them all. Oh It's like he's not? No, no way. No way in heck. But the besiegers emissary, uh, emissary. But the besiegers emissary was very clear about that. He said that uh, they fight for their leader Thorfinn, who's the true uh, who's the true commander of Norm. It's like, huh? That that's a lie. They're liars. He never do that. Calm down, Inner. Let's get away first. Then we'll find out what's going on. Balder. Thorfinn has been away from us. Thorfinn has been away from us for a while, so I can't be totally sure. But I think they gave you false information. As the Zenner said, this is totally unlike the Thorfinn we know. If he's not involved in this war, we may be unable to meet your expectations. I'd like to make that clear. Because I understand. Whatever the result may be whatever the results may be, I still think it would be better. If you all escape Northburg, thank you. Whatever comes out of the Thorfinn matter, please do your best to make your true feelings known to the armies. Here you going. Let's hurry up then. The first thing to do is to get away from here. But how? We can't very well just walk out the front gate right now. Don't worry, there's an escape route. A well? A well? And they're looking down. Oh. And there's an escape route down there. Yes. No one knows who built it or when. It's really old. 
uh, mayhaps older than this fortress. The water, the water you're seeing, uh, isn't truly groundwater. They came from the the river. Okay. It's drawn from the uh, the z uh, the uh, the winna the winna, whatever. The river, uh, which runs quite close, and the underground waterway connecting to that river also leads to the outside world, or to outside the walls. Once, uh, when the river water line got low, this well dried. Uh, this well dried along with it. That's when we found out about the tunnel. How many people know about this? Only a small number of people know about this. I asked some questions and he's given the answers. I and very few servants. A tunnel, huh? This is, uh, this is a serious matter. A military, a military secret, Norsberg. Are you sure you are you sure you should have told us this, Balder? Like, hmm, I don't care. Worst come worst come to worst, we can always just plug it. Or sorry to say it, but right now, there's plenty of water in there. Like, there's no tunnel in sight. I'm afraid there's no other choice but to dive all, all the way through. Are you serious? It's like taking off her maid's outfit. Uh don't know if I can hold my breath so long. I'm going I'm going first. I'll check out how far it goes. Be back in a minute. Like tossing down the rope. Okay. Okay. Flaming arrows coming in. Ah! Kill him! You, uh, you guy. Send the roof. Fire arrows. Put the fires at once. Bring stairs and water pellets. And there's like down. He's like, ah, it's okay. The opening is fairly big too. We, uh, we can go just fine. And I'll be next. Oh, leaves going down. Very, uh, fare you well, Folder. You too, Leaf. Take care. Okay, we're going down. Say, Folder. Why don't you come with us, huh? If you, if you really don't want to do something, if you really, really, really can't stand it, then, then it's okay to run away and be free. That's how I feel. People say that you're, you're irresponsible. That you're a coward. And you may disappoint those you care about. But even so. If you're okay with all that. Then come and join our crew. I don't think you will. We're on an adventure. Sailing from one end of the world to the other. Ever heard of. Uh, Melk Lagarde? We're going there next. He's like run away. He's looking at this guy. I've never even thought of that. Or never even thought of it. Run away from Norsberg. Lord Balder, please make haste. It's like the soldier heading. Huh? Ah like oh they're Oh they're oh trampling on it. When the uh helps. I'm fairly sure they had stairs in this garden. Hey woman, go fetch as many buckets as you as you can find and hurry up about it. Good, good. There's a well around here too. Oh shoot. Lord Balder like what are you doing here, my lord? Nothing but tr uh, nothing but thralls dwell in this pet in this place. Don't tell me you came without your bodyguards too. Uh oh, let's hurry back to the safety of the of your quarters, shall we? Woman, you too, come escort his uh, lordship back. Oh, frig, darn! It's like rhythm. Uh oh, chapter one hundred forty-three. The war in the Baltic, nineteen. The well is the means of escape, uh, escaping the fortress. Well then, Lord Balder, let's return to your quarters. Your lordship runs serious risk in this place. Uh, well, uh, well in reach of arrows. N never mind me. Proceed to the wind area, please. I'll just amuse myself with a walk. I'll return in a moment. Huh? Come down already. What are those fellows blabbering on about? Hey, yo, Gerdred, what are you doing? Uh, I should leave you behind. Oh, huh? What was that voice? Voice? But I heard no such thing. No, I'm sure of it. A man shout, very close. Thou uh, must have misheard uh, some bow cry. Sorry, guys, that was me. I sound like a man when, um, when I break wind. Huh? Nay, I clearly heard words. Uh, I should leave you something. Huh? Right, that's it. 
People often say that my uh, flatulence sounds like words. Right now, it was a leave you type. You a spy? What, uh, what a silly idea. I'm but a lowly maid servant to Lord Balder. Like, is something burning? Like, oh, you have the hell? Oh, yes. You need, wa uh, you need water, right, sir? Please leave it to me. That's what servants are for and all. Huh? Hey, careful. Like, oh my, excuse me. That was, uh, that was the careful type. My stomach is just awful today. I suppose this war must be a terrible thing. I mean, for a soldier like you, sir. It's like, oh. Huh? So there's soldiers with you. It's like, think of that. Go, quick. But, but you. Back off with me. He's like, going down with the spear. Got ya. Huh? Like, just going down. Huh? Got the bucket. What, what are you doing, sir? Did you just throw a spear into the well? Oh, goodness. Now the bucket won't draw. I hope you're not hurt. Come on. Run away, leap. Enter. That said, what about me? This sucks. Got the war still going on. Go, go, go. Hurry up those, hurry up these banks. Keep up the pressure on every wall of theirs. A bit more to the right. To the right. That's it. Stop. Let's hit, uh, let her down. Wait, oh, they're putting down logs. Heave ho! Like, oh, shoot. It's coming down. Ah, oh, and they're running. Boom, boom, is like tumbling all everyone. Gah, ha, ha. Uh, uh, this is the infamous Thorkill army? Pathetic, huh? Uh, that guy is. Yep, gotta be him. Hey, Eric. Eric, the, uh, the lefty. Wait, what? I'm here. Hey, wait, what? What's the matter? Friend of yours down there? Like, it's my brother who left home. So he was in, uh, so he was in Thorkill's army, huh? Well, left hander, he said. Ah, that one. Eric! Hey, brother! He's not hearing me. It's like, stop that. You do realize we're at war. I spotted a familiar, uh, I spotted a familiar face too. But what could I, huh? What are you? He's like, oh. Wait, oh, he has no eye. We give him a ring? Looking good. Found on the arrow. When he sees this ring, he'll know I'm here. I said, "Quit it, you simple-minded fool." They're uh, they're going to get you for conclusion for collusion. Ho! Oh, he's like, shoots up. It's a dude in the head. Oh shoot! Oh, you just killed his brother. Ha ha ha! What a freaking moron! Ha 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 ha! Oh well, whatever. What does that mean, all? Oh, he just pelted with arrows like three. When his forehead, when his like cheek, when his throat, it's like down. Oh, that's another log. Or it's another log and it's going down. Mm. Wait for it and jump. It's your only chance. Oh shoot. Here, here goes nothing. Get ready. Three, two, one. Hop. And Thor goes and, like stops it. Ha ha ha. Commoner. Like, stop. Oh, now he's like just gonna carry up. It's Thor kill. He stopped the log. And he's bringing the whole darn thing alone. Here he goes. Take this. Toss him a bunch more. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Urgh. Like, Commander, everything's fine. He's like, stop him. Don't. Don't waste time. Keep going. These logs were probably their last ones up there. Have the soldiers concentrated here? They're tossing, like, uh, oil? Oh. Oh. Hey. That is this now? Oil? Hey, wait. Stop that! Wait, wait, oi! Like, set the log on fire. It's like, yowch! And like, sent flying in the lake. We did it! We crushed Thorkin the Tall! We crushed Thorkill the Tall. Like, as in the law. Commander! You drawn? Darn it. It's already begun. So that's Nornberg. Not Thorfinn. Killed. Full eyes. Full eyes. Draw me off somewhere appropriate. Then please go hide this boat in a safe spot. In a safe spot, I'm going alone from here on. I'm going, yeah, I'm going alone from here on. Yeah, my word. That I'm coming back with a leaf and the others. I'm going too. I'll never let you out of my sight. How many times do I repeat this? Let me make something clear, Thorfinn. War games are no excuse to break your promise. My crossbow will be pointing at you every single instant. Heed these words well. Like, I understand. Chapter 144 War in the Baltic 20.
I finally managed to escape, like running, right into the middle of a raging battlefield. What do you mean you left me behind? Gurdjieff's still in the fort or fortress? Like, I I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. So hiding behind the shields. Nothing you could do? But, but what do we do now? We've got to go back. Nay, lad. That's not a bright idea. These soldiers may well spot us and discover the secret tunnel to the well. But then, what are you suggesting, old man? Just leave her to die? We're getting pelted with arrows. Luckily, Balder, uh, Balder was girdred when things went when things went wrong. We have to entrust her to him. It's our own option right now. It's our only option right now. At any rate, we should first. Don't. Oh, we get like crushed. Eek. Mine are all surviving, like, just running away with, with the shields, like, blocking them. Ah, these darn arrows are coming all around from every side. I know it's too late to go back now, but why did we run away right when, uh, when, when we're, uh, wait, right when they're, wh right when they were raiding a war, wait, raiding a, huh? Hmm, no, you see, this might actually prove to be our best chance. In the midst of all this ruckus, no one will ever notice. Marlo's coming. So, oh, he's in the back of the leg. Oh, hobbles over. Do 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 in the river. Leave. Are you all right? Can you stand? Ouch! Ouch! Uh, fine. Uh, I can't give you proper care in this place. Try and endure it a while longer. We have to cross the moat. You're going to shoot. Are, are we? Are we in hell? Hey, you there? Yes. You, carry that man. Climb here at once. You're asking to be uh, pincushions down there. It's like, uh, a chain. Oh. Oh. Our gratitude. Sorry for the trouble. Enough of the courtesies. Hurry up and take the wounded to uh, to the rear guard. He's like, oh, shoot. Ye are Sigurd. Oh, shoot. Intruder. Lord Thorgill. Hmm? Yes, sir. They say he sustained severe burns and had to be brought back to the rear guard. It can't be. Oh, he's on the other side. Right at the opening of the battle, too. This is bad, Eskil. It was inevitable. No matter how much I begged him to stop, he's the kind of man who just has to be right in the front line. Anyway, I must perform... I must... I must perforce, uh, wait, I must perforce see him in person to ascertain the situation. Okay. I'm going to the, I'm going to the base camp of Thorkill's forces. You're going, you're all a bunch of, uh, ladies. Stop messing around. Burns don't even count as real wounds. Out of my way. He's like, trying to take care of him. Wait. No, no. You're really gravely hurt. Jeez. Is he immune to pain or something? Like, his hair is all just frizzy. Bring me my axe. It's like, stop the com uh, the commander. Shut the heck up. Stop clinging on me. It's like, <laughs> say again. Who has arrived? Look, it's that one. The one. Uh, wait. The one of Lord Thorkill's kin. He arrived right there already. Hey there, Thorkill. Ooh. Oh, it's Thorfinn. Hey, hey. What's up? Did you get in the mood after all? You got great timing. It's barely even started yet. What the heck happened to your head? Uh, you feel like uh, you you feel like playing the fool away, like, huh? Or Thorfinn? Or he's getting up source. Where have you Where have you been, Master? I've been looking all over you. My head is like, huh? What do you mean, uh, um? God, what the heck? Thorfinn, Thorfinn, Sigurd, Enar, old man. Enter comes up, or Sigurd comes, You guy, what's the meaning of this? Now not the best time, but anyway. While you, uh, while you lord around, uh, living the good life. Let's do it, Thorfinn. Come do it with me. Huh? Lord Thorfinn, I beseech you, lead us. Now that Lord Vane has departed this world, you are, by right, our highest commander with maximum authority. Uh... Uh, no other way but smash open that darn gate. Uh, come down to it. It's actually kind of tough. Like, I'm sorry, Thorfinn. 
it's uh it's, it's all this old man's fault uh, you hearing me or what Thorfinn? what about full eyes and carly where are they are they safe uh, Gerdred is all alone, locked inside that fortress. Stop. Wait, wait. One at a time. Everyone quiet down a sec. I'll talk to you in order. Old man, NR. It's a relief that you are... Wait. What did you just say right... What did you just... What did you say just now, Sigurd? Like, he's okay? Go ahead. There's Gerdred, you fool. Gerdred. Gerdred alone is still a prisoner inside that fortress. He's like, oh, he's looking at it. It's true. I have no excuses, Thorfinn. The foe is entirely. What do you want, you scoundrel? Give me back my bride. I see. I got it. Worry not. I'll take care of. He's going in. A very conflicted decision. The block thickens. Thickens. On a sword. And that is the end of volume 20. Um, what are your thoughts? So, Thorfinn caught up to where Thorkill is. Uh, everyone but Gerdred got out of the, uh, the fortress. They're in the middle of war. He's like badly injured in his leg and his back. We also got Thorkill who's badly burned. Like, stay in the river. Hmm. How's Thorfinn gonna get in the fortress? Is he gonna take the waterway? Well, um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Uh, and if you're all new, subscribe, like, comment, leave any suggestions and recommendations down below. I greatly appreciate those. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day.